Are you laughing? Are you laughing? Get out of here. So that happened, right? Yeah, I did. And then during last night's dinner party, we saw Jess hit on not one but two of the grooms, and neither of them was her husband. What? Yeah, Dan. Damn, Dan. He is a hunk. You're definitely very good. I'm a big soul, you're not. I feel like there is the option to experience other, you know, husbands. I don't want. Yes, I do find Nick very attractive. Look, I just want to see how you're feeling, like, because along the way, I have sort of in some what lock developed some sort of feeling towards you. Ooh, ah. I know, that kind of, yes. And there were new uh, couples in there and stuff. Yeah, I leave you in charge for a week and... It Look. all goes weird. <laughs> and joining us right now is Martha from Married at First Sight. Hi, oh. hi Martha. Hi. Wow. Now, so I know, I know, wow. Let's break it down because wow. you, you actually encouraged Jess to speak to Nick at the dinner party last night. Were you trying to sabotage Cyrell's relationship after your argument? No. So here, there's some things that you don't see, but there was a lot of flirtation, like, between Jess and Nick that, that you guys don't see. That's, like, you know, behind-the-scenes sort of world. Mm -hmm. it, it did exist. Um, so I, I sort of said to it, like, go figure it out. These two here. These two, yes. yes. I sort of thought, you know, go sort it out, figure it out. But also I think what you're seeing a little bit of there is, like, I think the pressure of the experiment is starting to get to me. And I'm like, I had a really big week with Cyril. Mm -hmm. I was really no anxious, kidding. a little bit sleep deprived. I have probably had a few too many drinks and I feel like what you're seeing is like me blowing off steam with my girlfriend being silly, probably too silly. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but watching it, um, I cringed. I cringed the whole time I watched this. Did episode. you? Yeah, and I did, I did. You and Jess apparently are both pretty taken by one of these new, new blokes. Would, Dan, uh, are you pl you're not pl planning a husband swap. Are would you? I be stupid to let my husband is like the most beautiful he is. man? Yeah, he's a nice, I like his little bun on top of his. Yeah, head. I like that yeah. little bun too. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to that argument that you had with Cyrell earlier in the week, Martha. It all started over a rumor. So, did you intend to wind her up, or was it just? Oh, I absolutely. It was the last thing that I wanted to do was wind Cyrell up because, like, prior to this, me and Cyrell were fine. I just. Jess told me at the dinner party that Nick did rub her leg. And I think eventually you guys will see that. Like, I think it might be like a little surprise clip right. at, the, at the finale. But ah. she did, she did, um, she did in fact tell me that he did rub her leg. And she didn't say it in a way that it was like, hey, mate, are you, are you okay? It was, there was a little bit more to it. So was it sort of more girl code that you wanted to let her know? No, I just, Jess was drunk. I didn't know if she was telling me the truth or not. Because oh. she initially said that Sam did it. And I was just trying to keep up. And I feel like I probably shouldn't have, but I did. Can, and I, can I just ask a question? What's going on with your face in, in that thing? It's a she? mask, Dickie. Oh, it's a, it's it's a, a face mask. mask. <laughs> it, was our, it was our one can month we get some glasses anniversary. In here? Well, I don't know. Where are your I didn't glasses? See... Did you bring them with no, you? Today? There. What's that? That's a face mask. No, Dickie, that's actually what I look like before I go into hair and makeup. You should see us. Martha, you look beautiful. <laughs> it's stunning. Now, you did hug and make up last Close night, up. didn't you, you did. with yeah. Cyril? Yeah. Are things really okay? Yeah, no, I, I mean, I think they are, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, <laughs> Melissa found out that her bloke or she, had recorded a conversation. Um, I Dino, know. the meek and mild mm, Dino. Yeah, I know, that was horrible. I felt really bad for Mal. She didn't take that well. I don't think anyone would. Like, mm. I feel like it was a bit of an invasion. And especially when you're in the comfort of your own room, like yeah. in your own home. Yeah. Um, yeah, I not don't think... Not a nice feeling. Not at all. No. Look, before you go, Martha, um, just quickly, you were you were quite good friends with Ines mm -hmm. in the show. Have you spoken to her recently? How's yeah, she doing? Yeah, me and Ines are really good friends. She came and stayed with me for her birthday weekend and we went out and had some fun. And she's good? She's good, yeah, she's good. She's doing great. OK, all right. Thank you, Martha. You, we will definitely be tuning in on Sunday at 7pm <sighs> for the next Married at First Sight commitment ceremony. It looks like it's going to be a big one, am I right? Um, I think so, yeah. I think after last night, I feel like it's just going to become, everything's going to become more explosive. Mm. Can't wait. I wish it was Sunday already.